Europa is one of Jupiter's moons. It's kind of about the same size as our own moon, but a really different structure. It has this rocky interior, but it's surrounded by this global ocean. And on top of that ocean, we've got this ice shell that's maybe as much as 20 to 30 kilometers thick. The heat and chemical signatures that are there suggest it might be a really exciting candidate for extraterrestrial habitability in our solar system. Right now, we can't see what's in the subsurface. So uh, one of the ways we understand how the moon works is by looking at the various features across the surface. You can see, for example, all of these very strange little double ridges or these collapsed surface features we call chaos terrain there. And so all of that maybe tells us something about what's going on inside of the ice shell itself. And that's kind of the exciting scientific question is how do we understand the interior from what we see on the surface? It was a bit of serendipity, really. So one of my colleagues was presenting in group meeting on these big open science questions in Europa and the formation of double ridges being one of them. So he showed an image of what these look like on Europa, and I had this moment of recognition that this really looked like a feature I had just seen in some of my own data from the Greenland ice sheet. If you were to take one of these and sort of slice it like a cake in half, what you would see is this sort of M-shaped feature where you've got two peaks surrounding this kind of central trough. And so it really is like two ridges smashed together. But it's a little bit you know, unusual because we don't see that everywhere on Earth. In fact, we see it almost nowhere, but this is the most common feature that we see on Europa's surface. What was forming these features in Greenland were actually pockets of water that were being frozen and fracturing into the surface in a series of freezing and fracture and then refreezing and fracture again, uh, shoved up these double ridge shapes. By studying you know, this really rich data record that we have on Earth that shows us sort of the subsurface dynamics that are driving the formation of this ridge in Greenland, we can understand something maybe about the types of you know, dynamics that are also driving this ridge formation on Europa. Even though Europa is a very different place, the pressures are different, the gravity is different, uh, the temperature is different, uh, the laws of physics are the same. There are planetary missions, both from the US and from the European Space Agency, that are going to be going to the Jupiter system. And so hopefully the same sort of analysis approaches we used here will be available to see if the signature we see here is detectable there. Liquid water near to the surface of the ice shell is a really provocative and promising place to imagine life having a shot. So the idea that we could find a signature that would suggest promising pocket of water like this might exist, I, I think is very exciting.